Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with the taping of UFC tonight with the host. Be turning things around a little bit. I'll be the one asking the questions. Hey guys, how you doing? Dan, good to see you. All right. Guys, what is it like to, to be doing this now and getting exposure on TV? What do you guys feel about uh, doing the show? Hey, it's great. You know, great step forward for the sport. You know, this is, uh, oh, as a fighter, it's something we've always dreamt about. You know, we always want to take the sports to the next level and really educate the fans of, of, of what we do, um, how we do it, give them the latest news. Um, and I think we do uh, just a great job of, of, of doing that, providing that for the fans, whether you're a hardcore fan or just you know new to the sport. I think it's a fantastic way to take the sport to the next level and really give the fighters um, the attention they deserve. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you started back in WEC. Yeah, right? no question about it. And I would love to have had something like this back then. It's a place I think it serves the fans. And it's, it's an outlet for them, the folks that don't take to Twitter every five minutes or on Facebook. They can get this show every week, and it kind of gives them a encapsulation of what's going on in the world of MMA, specifically UFC. And uh, it's a pretty polished show, if you ask me. I think they do a pretty nice job. The folks that work on the show get footage, get stats, get all these things that you don't get on Twitter, so you come here. I, I love it. I, you know, my whole DVR is Fuel TV. <laughs> it's UFC all the time. <laughs> Good so, to hear. Do you, do you personally like watching some of the guys from the WEC, how they've transitioned into the UFC, all their own cowboy? And, I'm biased. Yeah, absolutely. Biased. And uh, I, I like I like to say the boys from the WC are doing themselves very well in the UFC. I think there were a lot of people that thought, oh, they're not going to be able to step up to the big leagues. But uh, I think it's safe to say they're, they're doing okay. So is it safe to say you both like the lower weight classes? I, I love it. You know, I'm biased. I love seeing the little guys yeah. go at it, you know. And, uh, you know, I think that the level of technique um, that they show out there is, is second to none. And, uh, you know, if you're a true fan of, of the sport, you love the little guys. Speaking of which, um, you know, since you've retired, when you watch the, the 155ers and 145ers now, are you, you kind of playing matchup in your head still? Not quite retired yet. Don't retire yet. We'll no. see. We'll see. But no, really? we'll see. Still well, got some we'll fighting those gloves. We'll see. All right. But, um, so your back's doing okay? Yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's not 100% yet, but it's, uh, it's definitely, not, definitely not 100%. But I haven't closed the door on it, so we'll see. You know, I'm hoping that I can recover and come back. What weight class would you do that at? At 55. 45 is too much. Okay. okay. Okay, I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to be fights again. We've got some great makeup people here, so if he doesn't do well, we can still get him on the set in high definition. I beat up. I, I stay in shape by beating yeah. up Todd every week. And so. you can't tell. I'd like no. to see you versus Cowboy. I think stylistically on the feet, that's there's very so interesting. Many, that's an there's, so many, so many great fights out there. You know? Is yeah. there anyone specifically that you would like to fight before you retire? Besides you? Well, you, you yeah. kick my tail. Uh, you know what? Really, I just want to fight the, the best guys. If, if I come back, uh, you know, I'd like if I'm healthy, uh, I'd like it for for it to be really a run for the belt. I don't want to just come back and have one fight. I'd really like try to make a run so and go at it. You know, the number two guy, maybe whoever wins. Whoever Miller and uh, I don't know if I deserve it because I'm coming back to 55. But you know, if the UFC gave me that fight, I would love it. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to go back in time a little bit. Do you feel like a lucky guy with everything that's turned out for you the way that it has? Because Quite frankly, I think it was your third fight that Dana White just happened to be there. Yeah. I think when it was your third fight against Vicky. Yes. You actually yeah, exactly. lost the lost the split decision. Yep. You know, main event fight. Yep. And uh, isn't that what Dana? Man, I tell you what, it's so funny. You know how things work out. I, I definitely feel lucky and very blessed. You know, I haven't been there at the right place at the right time. And I really believe that. Um, you know, if you work hard, you're always going to be in the right place at the right time. And. and um, at the time, I really just did it to prove my jiu-jitsu. I didn't want to be a mixed martial arts yeah. fighter, really. I just kind of wanted to try it out. And it wasn't really until after the Ultimate Fighter wrap that I was like, you know what, I want to make a go with this. I, I really love the other arts and just found a beauty in it and uh, wanted to make a go at it. Well, you definitely, you know, got leaps and bounds better over the years since Ultimate Fighter. When you're Basically, all the way at the bottom, guy. when you're as terrible <laughs> as I was, you can only get better. You got, you got good very fast. And I, I, I've always assumed that you're one of the hardest workers in the, in the, in the sport that you've gotten a lot better um, because of a work ethic. I mean, you have to see it. Your Muay Thai got so great. You're known for your elbows. Like seven rear naked choke wins, something like that. Uh, I mean, that's some high uh, you know, I'm lucky that uh, I had great coaches, great training partners around me that I could learn from. And, you know, so what, do you, that so what do you guys think of the guys on the Ultimate Fighter now? What do you think of the level? Are the guys that stand out to you? Yeah, definitely, man. You know, the level is, it is great. You see the guys now, when they come into the Ultimate Fighter, they're so much more experienced. They're, they're so more well-rounded than back, you know, back when I was on the Ultimate Fighter first season. All I really knew was Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That's yeah. pretty much it. I was learning my striking as, as I was going, my wrestling and all that stuff. Now the guys are so well-rounded, coming in, you know, uh, in, in top shape and, you know, just dangerous in all areas. They're, they're polished. I think they're more yeah. polished and they come in ready. They know what to expect. Where back in Kenny's day, not that far ago, guys came in and was like, well, I don't know what to expect. 
Yeah. But I think Kenny sells himself a little bit short. He does well because he always strives for excellence. And no matter what he does, you know, a Division One soccer player, great athletics, great academics, and he's carried that over onto the set of UFC tonight. And I'll he give does you really that $20 well. bill. Yeah, they, no, <laughs> no, but I mean, he came in doing TV, not having a lot of experience with that, and he worked at it, he worked at it, to where now I think he's one of the best analysts out there. But I think for the guys that are coming up in Open Fighter, if they just take that strive for excellence in everything they do, they'll be successful. And guys, you can watch Ultimate Fighter live every Friday night on FX. But also, Tough Brazil started last night. Every Sunday night, watch that online. Tough Brazil was amazingly off the hook. And you guys need to be checking that out. So you always can come to, to watch UFC Tonight on Fuel TV. Watch the other shows, too. You know, got Best of Pride. There you go. I'm, I'm an old school <laughs> fan. You got the Best of Pride on Fuel TV. You got the UFC Reloaded, guys. I'm, I'm loving watching the pay-per-views, getting just... Fights, 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 commercial fights, no chatter, all fighting. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys having me out today for ProMMANow.com. And, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube page. Got 500 MMA instructionals and Dan the Wolfman 1. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for coming to this, Dan. Thank you very much. You I got to give a shout out to the UG. Oh, that's I'm right. I'm an OG from the UG. <laughs> so, what's up, guys? Hello, Underground. <laughs> Thank you. Good right. job.